Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. The Bob Newhart Show is an American sitcom television series that was produced by Mary Tyler Moore Enterprises and it aired on CBS from September of 1972 to April of 1978 with a total of 142 half-hour episodes over that six-season run. Now, many of the sitcoms that came after this show have to pay homage to it because it really reinvented the sitcom of that era. Almost everyone after that was influenced by it because it was very different than what anybody had seen before. The show earned two comedy series Emmy nominations during its run and basically was based on the reactionary humor that Newhart had perfected in nightclubs. By doing this, he created the blueprint for such classics as Seinfeld, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and Roseanne. The character that Bob plays on TV is not finding himself there. He knows exactly who he is. Newhart starred as Dr. Robert Hartley, a put-upon psychiatrist, as he dealt with his wife, friends, and colleagues and patients, which also gave rise to finding humor in the subtleties of everyday life, a motif that comedians today use constantly and are always having success with. The show creators never overplayed their hands with hijinks. They grounded themselves completely in reality. The character Bob plays is an everyday guy dealing with the same obstacles that we all face from the moment that we wake up until the time we go to bed. The show's just absolutely funny. And the secret is Bob. You'd never seen a protagonist like him, someone who felt like an every man. He really was sitcoms Henry Fonda. Most of the activity during the series occurs between his work and home life with his supportive, although occasionally sarcastic, wife, Emily, their friendly and pesky neighbor, airline navigator, Howard Borden, the medical building where Bob's psychology practice is located, also houses Jerry Robinson's dental practice. He's an orthodontist whose office is on the same floor, and their receptionist, Carol, as well as a number of other somewhat eccentric doctors who appear on the show occasionally. Bob's most frequently seen regular patients are the cynical, mean-spirited, neurotic Elliot Carlin, the milk toast, former U.S. Marine cook, played by John Fiedler, and the quiet, reserved Lillian Bakerman, an older woman who spends most of her sessions knitting. Most of the situations in the show involve Newhart's character playing a straight man to his wife, colleagues, friends, and patients. A very frequent running gag on the series is an extension of Newhart's stand-up comedy routine where he played one side of a telephone conversation, the other side which is not heard. In a nod to this, for the first two seasons, the episodes opened with Bob answering the telephone by saying hello. Suzanne Plachette was cast after she appeared by accident on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and ended up seated next to Bob Newhart. Producers saw it and they thought that she and Bob clicked together and they asked her to read for the show. As they say, the rest is history. When Bob Newhart read the premise for the proposed series, he insisted on two changes. First, he insisted that his character be changed from a psychiatrist to a psychologist so that he wouldn't make fun of the seriously mentally ill. And he insisted that his character have no children as to avoid the standard scenario of the goofy father. Even though Bob's character didn't want there to be children, Emily Hartley did announce that she was pregnant 
during a show. That all turned out to be one of Bob's nightmares. Over the course of the show, the phrase, Hi Bob, was said 256 times. Howard Borden said it a total of 118 times. Dr. Jerry logged in for 43. Carol Kester said it 36 times. And Emily, his wife, said it 17 times. Then there's other minor characters or guest stars that said it a total of 43 times. As a matter of fact, Bob Newhart's character even said it once to himself. This went on to be the beginnings of a popular drinking game that was invented by college students during the series' run. Whenever someone on the show says Bob, each player had to take a drink. If someone said, Hi, Bob, you had to guzzle that drink. For a few episodes during the show's sixth and final season, the opening credits and the theme song were not shown, but rather the show opens with the first scene being performed with the opening credits running over it. Although many sitcoms today have abandoned opening credits, this was very unique in the 70s and ultimately unpopular. After a couple of episodes, the show's opening sequence was brought back and played that way until the show's last episode. Suzanne Plachette is another actress, like Lucille Ball and Kathleen Turner, whose voice started out high, and then by the end of their careers, they were baritones. You can see in this sitcom, Plachette has a normal alto range, but by the time she starred in other shows in the 90s, she was completely a baritone, due to constant stage screaming, and even more so, all the smoking that she had done. We probably remember her most from this role as Bob's wife, but in 1963, she had her most memorable film role as the warm-hearted schoolteacher in The Birds, who suffers unrequited love and sacrifices herself to save a pupil from this lethal bird attacks. We have a tendency to forget that that was her that we saw in the middle of these flocks of birds, along with Tippi Hedren. Go back and watch an episode of this great sitcom from the early 70s. It'll take you back. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.